Greetings, Robert Spencer here for Jihad Watch. Munir Farid of the Islamic Society of North America is angry with John McCain. Now what on earth has the grizzled war hero done to arouse Farid's ire? He has dared to use the word Islamic to describe terrorists. Munir Farid says, we have tried to contact his office, contact his spokesperson, to have them rethink word usage that is more acceptable to the Muslim community. Now what's so unacceptable about referring to Islamic terrorists? The Islamic part, of course. Farid says, I think this is just criminality fair and square. We should just call them criminals. You want to call them terrorist criminals, fine, but adding the word Muslim or Islamic certainly doesn't help our cause as Americans. It's counterproductive. It paints an entire community of believers, 1.2 billion in total, in a very negative way. And certainly that's not something that we want to do. Now. I've said this before, but I will not hesitate to keep repeating it until the last Islamic spokesman in the United States learns basic English grammar. The phrase Islamic terrorists no more paints all Muslims as terrorists than the phrase Italian fascists paints all Italians as fascists or conservative Democrat paints all conservatives as Democrats. Basic grammar apparently has to go out the window when there's a need for a little politically correct grandstanding. Meanwhile, in other news, Al-Qaeda number two man Ayman al-Zwahri has said in a recently released audio message that building up Iraq as what he called a fortress of Islam is today the most important duty for Muslims. He said that Muslims should transform mosques, that is Islamic mosques, and Islamic schools as well as other institutions in the Islamic world into centers of Islamic Jihad. Munir Farid of the Islamic Society of North America has not made any protest about Azwahri's close linkage of Islam with terrorism. I don't know if he's tried to contact his office, contact his spokesperson, but he certainly has made no public statement against this brazen act of Islamophobia by Ayman Azwahri. No, John McCain seems to be the only object of Munir Farid's ire. Now, why is that? Is John McCain responsible for linking Islam with terrorism? Or did the link come from Muslims like Ayman Azwahri? It's also worth pondering why someone from the Islamic Society of North America would object to linking Islam with terrorism. The Islamic Society of North America, after all, was named as an unindicted co-conspirator in the Holy Land Foundation Hamas Jihad terror funding case last summer. Also, a Muslim Brotherhood memorandum released to the public during that trial outlines the Brotherhood's strategic goals for the United States. In it, the Islamic Society of North America was named as one of the groups participating in a, quote, kind of grand jihad in eliminating and destroying the Western civilization from within and sabotaging its miserable house by their hands and the hands of the believers so that it is eliminated and God's religion is made victorious over all other religions. Of course, in this context, God's religion means Islam. If the Islamic Society of North America is involved in an effort like that, Munir Farid's anger at McCain may be coming from some motives that are very, very different from the disinterested concern for civil rights that he affects. In any case, the bottom line is this. When Munir Farid and his colleagues at the Islamic Society of North America start calling for Ayman Azwahri and other Islamic jihadists to stop using Islamic texts and teachings to call for violence, maybe they'll have a case against John McCain. But until then, no one, no one should be taking them seriously. I'm Robert Spencer.